It's not unusual for prisoners to be flogged, whipped. They were unruly lot. It's very hard to get the early colony going. No one really had any skills to build things or prepare food. In the early days around the rocks in Sydney, it's just full of brothels and bars. Now you can trace your history on these logs that are kept of the um, early people on the boats. And apart from initially being ashamed, now Estonians are proud of their convict origins. Even the Prime Minister can trace his origin back to the first ships to come out here. Oh, hello, early prisoner being transported. Are, are you eating or are you accessing the internet? In 1848, Austra uh, Ireland had suffered another major famine. The only opportunity was to get a lot of young women to come out here because there's a shortage of uh, women in Australia. Transported between 1848 and 1850 and found a new life in Australia. But it's actually a long way from home. In fact, 4,114 of these girls were sent to, Austra uh, to Australia. You'll also know that in the time of Oliver Cromwell, 40 to 60,000 um, Irish women were sent to the West Indies um, as probably the first recorded history of white slaves. You won't find this in many history books. I only found it in the sleeve of uh, Jimi Hendrix CD. There are a couple of these Irish women, they married into society, most of them did well. Some found about, about uh, went upon harsh times and lousy husbands. Uh, not one of these, but a later one in the early part of the 19th century was Daisy Bates, who went out and lived amongst the Aborigines of South Australia and did a huge amount of helping them. It was a bag that every girl was issued with. It had their belongings and rations and clothes that, that were uh, given to them for the trip. The people who ruled Sydney in those early days were people like Lockler Macquarie. He actually built a lot of buildings, particularly Macquarie Street. However, there were great frustrations dealing with other officials and they eventually gave up and just went back to England. The early days of New Colony were a huge struggle and it cost England about one to two million pounds to run it. In fact, it just, the whole project just about failed and they were ready to give up. It wasn't really until the discovery of gold in 1850 that the whole of Australia actually had a promise and it was financially saved and set become the nation that it was.